What is going on everyone? Today I'm going to be working on a 96 Toyota Land Cruiser. What is this FJ80? Um, first, we got to remove a, remove the 19 millimeter, put the car in a stand, and let's get it going. So uh, before you work on the brakes, just uh, make sure you uh, re um, open the cap on your reservoir and put a rag around it. Side, just uh, remove the two uh, 17 millimeter right over here. So remove two uh, 17 millimeter bolts on the back. Use a swivel if you can. Make sure you tilt your um, your rotor. So remove the the pin on this side, and then just pull out the the pins that hold the brake pads, and then um, just also just pull out this brake pads. Or you can actually remove the whole rotor if you can. Next, we remove this uh, 12 millimeter uh, bolts right over here. There's six of them. Uh, this is the wheel hub cover. And then just uh, kind of hammer it to loosen up this uh, pieces over here. Everything is off. You see, when you hammer it, uh, you don't need to put the screw in and then pound on the screws, but you just hammer around it. It'll, it'll, it'll release itself. So the retainer, you uh, use a flat head, a small piece, and just uh, work your way around it. Release it from that side, and then um, a lot. It's kind of hard with one hand. Hold on, a flat head, and just pull it out. Hammer around it, and it will release itself. There you go. And then, um, usually, this is a 54 millimeter socket. Uh, you can also remove it without using it because usually this is hand tight so uh, just hammer around it this way so just look around which um, retainer was pressed down uh, you can see once you release the retainer uh, or the uh, the, the, the little nut that's holding it down, you can remove it by hand. You don't need those big socket. Unless it's stuck, then you're gonna have to use a uh, flathead to, uh, you can hammer it the other way, so it'll come off. And then remove the retainer right here. And then one more uh, retainer from the inside, you can as you can see, it'll come off with just uh, hem and uh, unscrew by hand. Now you're gonna have to clean everything in here before you remove it. It should pop off. Oh, um, you might feel a tension where it's not gonna come off. Since we're gonna be replacing this rotor, I'm just gonna hammer it from the back to push it out. That should uh, pop it off. So once you clean it up, remove one retainer out or that uh, seal and then the bearing comes off as well. Be careful with these bearings because they're... I mean if you're going to reuse it, just clean it up, inspect it, make sure there's no wear on it. And now I'm just ready to pop the back to release the... This one. Okay. And then this is all 17 mil. Just go ahead and remove all of it. Pounding the side of it until it actually comes off. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. Unless you have a puller, you can also use a puller, but this is the simplest way. As you can see, it's already coming off. Now, once you hammer it and then uh, insert a flat head next to it and just push it all the way down like this, it'll pop off because we everything is reusable on our uh, bearings so we're gonna inspect it it looks like they're still good and we packed it with grease so just go ahead and remove the old grease we're gonna replace it with a brand new molly grease 
or whichever grease you want to put in. Make sure it's for bearing grease. So I'm repacking it now with grease, Molly bearing grease that we're using. And get a good amount. So whatever you took out, uh, make sure you replace it a little bit more than normal. Don't be shy and just pack it really well. Give it a good packing of grease. And also don't forget to grease this uh, puppy up. Clean it up first and grease it up. You can either use a, you know, if you have an engine, I mean, um, those cleaner washer, just or you could just wipe it off, whatever, whichever. Cross pattern or a star pattern. Just put everything back in order where you remove it. It's just reverse process now. Because this uh, car has previous punched in already, so I'm gonna punch it in the other um, to tighten it a little bit, but not too tight. And then don't forget to punch the, the retainers back backwards and forward that way it'll hold uh, both um, nut. so now we're gonna bend um, the retainers back there you go all right if you run across without a an emergency um, if you don't have a uh, yes. gasket just uh, use an RTV for now until you know one day you can um, replace it or redo it again then you're gonna need a uh, little bolt to uh, pull that out. That way you can uh, put the retainers back on. Star pattern on all those. So uh, do the same process, you know, chase it with a hammer and a flathead. That way you can uh, put it back to it. So go ahead and compress. You can use a um, pliers, a big one, or a brake compressor, which I have, but this method seems to be working easier without screwing anything. So go ahead and lube everything, put the pads, and that's about it. Put everything back, and that's how you replace your rotor on your FJ80. Uh, this is a specific vehicle of 1993 Toyota Land Cruiser, and I think that goes with the Lexus LX as well. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Until next time, please subscribe if you can and be safe out there. God bless. Bye.